Welcome back. Well, sorry we lost that connection with Ann, but uh, we will keep trying. All right. Welcome back. Anyway, thanks uh, to Make-A-Wish Foundation, Ontario Teen was promoted to Prime Minister, if only for this week. P.J. Lackenpaul became somewhat of a celebrity, I should say a big celebrity around Parliament Hill. Before his wish week ends, we're pleased to have Prime Minister P.J. He's joining me here live in the studio. There you are coming up, by the way, your yeah. Prime Minister limousine. There you are. You got security details and everything. Yeah. That was quite an experience. Eh? Did oh, you yeah. know this was coming on? No, actually, I, I um, purposely told my... Um, my wish coordinators to keep everything a secret because <laughs> I wanted it all to be a surprise so that I could enjoy it to the fullest. And uh, so every day was a was just a surprise. You had no idea it was coming on. No, I had no idea at all what's coming on. They just basically said, okay, um, on this day, this is basically like they briefly told me that this is what's going to be happening. And but like in terms of the details, they didn't get too in depth with it because I wanted it, like I said, to be a surprise. Just to go back and get the, 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 the sort of nasty stuff over you, you were diagnosed with uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma, right? That's correct. Now, you're, you've beat it. You've licked this disease, so yep. your desire to be a political leader could very easily become a reality by, what, 2035 or so at the latest. I hope so. Where did that come from? Where did you get the desire to be in a political leader? Not many people your age actually want to become a politician. Well, actually, my passion for politics sort of uh, developed uh, over the years. The way it mostly developed was because um, every night my dad and I would watch the news and I would be watching um, the government and like see, I would hear them debate about certain issues. And then from that, I sort of developed a, a love for politics and those debates that were actually going on in the House of Commons even extended to our own home between me and my dad. And uh, sometimes they would be, they would be pleasant. Other times, let's just say, it would turn into World War III. <laughs> Did you win, usually? Uh, no, it oh, usually ends off with like a, <laughs> with us just like going to bed and yeah. Okay, so you've had a bit of a glimpse into the inside of how this job might go. Do you still really want the job or do you think I'd rather go to Disneyland for a week? Well, for me, this is my Disneyland. And th not only that, this is my Versailles. This is my Palace of Versailles and I will plan on pursuing well, right now, uh, politics when I, um, or later on in my career. You're serious about that, right? I am. I couldn't be more Which party would you run else. for? Have you got a That's sense classified. Of that? That's classified. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess. To, I guess this week you're a liberal, right? This week I'm a liberal. What What surprised you the most? Who Who did you meet that that pleasantly or maybe even unpleasantly surprised you? Um, I actually like everyone that I've met. Um, they've been so kind to me. Today I actually met um, Justice Br um, Brown at uh, oh, the Supreme Court. Yeah, the Supreme Court. Yeah. Wow. And he was very humble with me. He was so nice. Um, when I was talking to him, I felt like I was talking uh, to a friend. And same with um, Justin Trudeau. When I was talking to the Prime Minister, I felt like I was talking to a friend. I wasn't like really talking to a politician or um, like a member of the government. It's mm -hmm. like yeah, he was just so humble, um, very kind, and yeah, we actually talked for a very long time. And you've stood in the House of Commons, uh, you raised your arm in a salute, what was that? Well, actually a lot of people have been asking me about that. Yeah. So um, what it actually symbolizes is strength and unity and united as one. And me basically extending my arm like this um, is sort of like a representation of um, the aspirations of the Canadian people to reach for the stars and um, to make this, or to make the greatest country on earth an even better country. Wow. Great experience, and you did a great job. Uh, I'd vote for you. Thank you very much, sir. All right. Thanks, PJ.